Biggs and Wedge are here now, though. The Allegan civilization thrived within the borders of a vast empire, producing marvels the likes of which this world has never seen again. It is said that its technology was so advanced, the Magitech of Garlemald appears crude and childlike in comparison. When I first laid eyes on the Crystal Tower, I finally realized the truth of that claim. You just leave the business of sorting out the aftermath to us. Focus on cleaning out the nasties and we'll move in to survey what's left. He seems to be talking almost advanced of where we are. And he says the same thing. Labyrinth of the Ancients. Grahatia is eager to begin the expedition to the Crystal Tower. Esteemed colleagues, the secrets of ancient Alec beckon. Let's not keep them waiting any longer. Adventure, you and I will join the engineers at the Crystal Tower's main gateway, where we will endeavor to neutralize the structure's outer defenses. Rambros, meanwhile, will remain here and oversee the operation. Given my knowledge of Allegan history, it seems logical that I should lead the expedition itself, though I admit the role does not exactly befit my status as an observer. Still, we can but make use of the resources at hand. Assuming all are in agreement, let us proceed forthwith to the large, lopsided gate found to the southeast. Oh, there we go. The crystal tower lies beyond this portal. Now comes the interesting part. Sid, you are the only one of our number who has ever crossed this threshold. I ask that you take the lead for the present. I say, the energy radiating from these statues is palpable. Lucky for us that it is. One might uh, otherwise stroll past them. Feast your eyes on the elemental defenses which prompted our lengthy preparations. These sentinels prevent would-be intruders from advancing to within 20 yalms of the tower's inner reaches. no matter how swift they may be. Happily, the crystal fangs we took such pains to craft should spare us the inconvenience of instantaneous annihilation. Here, allow me to demonstrate. Chief, it's too... dangerous to allow anyone else to risk his own... Uh, to risk his life testing one? Quite right. I made the damn things. It's my job to see that they work. That's got to be nerve. Like, I would... Like, he's going in fingers first. I would go in, like, the tip of the fang first. <laughs> I'm not going to risk my, my hand. Potentially more. Success! I, for one, am convinced. Friends, ready your fangs.
I wonder what, like, the intended way of deactivating the defenses, like, is supposed to be. Because <laughs> this clearly isn't it. This last one is yours, old friend. It seemed only right. Ha, we did it. So much for the outer defenses. Indeed, the entrance to the tower is near at hand. My blood fairly sings with anticipation. Speaking of blood, I have a proposal for the next stage of the expedition. I suggest we wait here while Lavenza and a hand-picked party of her adventuring companions enter the tower. What? Without us? I thought we came here to survey the entire structure. We did, and we will, but our investigations must proceed at a more measured pace. If the outside of the place is this well defended, can you imagine what awaits us on the inside? Only a true hero could reasonably hope to brave the hazards ahead, and live to tell the tale. Lavenza here fits that description better than anyone I know. And it is not as if we shall be idle in her absence. While Lavenza and her companions are risking life and limb to beat, a, uh, yeah, to beat us a path to the tower, we can set about analyzing this rubble for evidence of how its technologies function. Your knowledge of ancient lore will be invaluable in that endeavor, historian Grahatia. Bah, do you ever tire of being right, old man? Him, <laughs> Lavenza, as it seems I won't be accompanying you, allow me at least to provide some instruction. The maze that surrounds the base of the tower is known as the Labyrinth of the Ancients. During this initial foray, I suggest you concentrate on ridding the place of hostile elements. When you are reasonably certain the maze is secure, contact me via link shell, and we shall join you post haste, no matter what Master Garland says. Though we would prefer it if any relics you encounter remained intact, you have leave to do whatever is necessary to secure ingress to the upper levels of the tower. Fortune go with you, Lavenza. Okay, and now use the duty finder. Quite the spectacle, you know, <laughs> just lava exploding and it's definitely a cool looking instance. Check the other tanks to see. Okay, he just threw on his tanking stance. He doesn't have his on. Or she. Whatever. Um, I don't mind main tanking, but... 
you know, typically, like, when it comes to multi-tank content, like, if somebody wants to main tank, they're gonna fight like hell to main tank. And so it's just, it's, like, I'd rather just, you know, let somebody else do it if they want to do it. Oh, somebody does... Oh, do they? Oh, we'll both have their tank stance on, so... I mean, I guess I can turn mine on just to make sure, like, ads and stuff aren't on other people. Oh, this one's on me. Yeah, I remember, you know, back in the day when you had to actually make sure to face them you know, the right direction so their tail swipe wouldn't cleave the entire party. <laughs> but now it's just kind of like, ah, oh, whatever. Nothing does enough damage, you know, to really be uh, dangerous. I think one of the reasons why, like, I would like it if they readjusted level sync for these first two raids is just because, and again, it, it, it might be different for people that are new to the game, although I would imagine it would come across worse to people brand new, but to me, just like the first two raids just come off as a complete cluster, you know, because there's not really mechanics that you're really having to pay attention to. So it's just people running in and just kind of doing whatever. Although granted, I mean, it's treated like modern trash, you know, just pick it all up and burn it down. So So they still have tank stance on. I don't know what they're... Because this certainly only needs one tank. And I know at this point, like, it doesn't matter where you tank the boss. But you'll still get yelled at if you don't move it. <laughs> Ooh. A lot of dead. Yeah, of course somebody is... saying to move the boss, but it's... I think if people don't really know the mechanic, it's not going to matter, because it's not like they're going to kill the ads, you know, before it gets to the dragon anyway. I mean, I guess it could stagger... The skeleton's getting to the boss. Healers just need to be on the ball about it, you know. Thankfully, we've got, you know, scholars and stuff so they can, um... Uh, at least get some shields for, you know, a little bit of extra health. See, at this point, like, to move the dragon now is pointless, because once it dies here, the counter is over. 
You know, so all you're doing is preventing melee from being able to hit the boss. Okay, this one I'll actually need tank stance on. Or no, no, that's not until the Bahamut wing is what I was thinking of, of the three dudes or whatever. This is the Atamos or Atomos or whatever. And I don't think a tank is really all that necessary for it. Although it certainly is better, I mean, you know, for me to grab the stuff and bring it over to the to the people on the pad. Oh, good. We've got two melee. And we've got plenty of... Oh. Yeah, we started that. <laughs> and if... Huh. Okay, that's a wipe. Well, I don't know that that's ever happened. Oh, because I think they said nobody was over in B. Because not enough people had gotten to the... Um... Um, yeah, if you start the boss too early, um, what ends up happening is, you know, the, the gate will close, as it were, and... You know, it'll ask people that are not inside if they want to get teleported in. Unfortunately, it teleports everybody to A. And in this case, like, there wasn't enough people in, I think, the B section. Um, and so, whatever the condition is that, I guess, causes that uh, the big armor dude to spawn happened, and he just one-shots you, I guess. I have not seen that in a very long time. I'll say I was not the one to to aggro that. I did go out further than I should have, but I didn't actually start it. Somebody else ran out. Although me going out further may have encouraged somebody else to go out further. <laughs> so maybe my bad. So I wonder if any of those people that we saw at, at the quest giver are in this run. I mean, it would make sense. Obviously, I didn't like look at their names or anything. I think at this point you just go. Like if somebody's not ready, that's they shouldn't have queued. Yeah, and the Black Mage should not be off the pad, but... I mean, unless he's, you know, level 80 and absolutely sure that, you know, him being out there attacking the Atomos is the best, best course of action. Yeah, I mean, we've got the, the Machinist also not on the pad. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's just we have a Samurai that's sitting there doing nothing. Um, so. And again, you know, they're playing, assuming they're playing by the rules. So that's why they were still on the pad. 
But that should be the only hiccup in here. That's the only time you really ever... Well, okay, the, the last boss can potentially uh, cause a, a hiccup if one of the parties doesn't have enough people on their pad. So is it random which group gets it, or does it go like in order, like A, B, C, or whatever? I don't know. You know, there's just some mechanics. It's just it's it's not a big enough deal. You know, you kind of get what's going on, so you don't look into the details of it. Okay, it looks like everybody's here. And we're the ones that are... going ghosty anyway. actually be able to get this down before we lose our buff. I was too slow on the first interrupt, so it wasn't available this time. Yeah, and it's not down in time, so now I can't do anything to it. Oh well, next group will finish it off. Yeah, just thinking again about like redoing the level sync to these raids. Um, is um, it's just this game does I think a good job as is of keeping older content relevant, and I just I think you know in that regard they could do it even a little bit better just by, you know, rebalancing the, you know, the level sync for some content. And obviously, like, just the level sync itself, and it might get kind of retooled with the stat squish. That might be something that they work in. Who knows? Wait for everybody to get here. Doesn't look like anybody's straggling too much. got to deal with the ads too okay yeah ours dealt with our ad oh and here's another one I mean this encounter here still seems to be pretty well intact
I'm like waiting for more of the balloons to pop up and I see them pop up like in the the aggro list but like none were kind of over by me so it's like okay I don't think that's my territory then Now on to Behemoth. King Behemoth, no less. Okay, other tanks still have theirs up, so... Because, I mean, normally the tanks would pick up ads, but I don't... I have not tanked this in forever. I don't typically... Because tanks are never the adventure in need, like, I don't do alliance raids as tanks. Um, but generally when I, when I do this, it just seems like people just focus the boss. He goes down so quickly now. That's a pretty nice great sword. And now they're just explaining the meteor mechanic. So the question is, so it's been explained, how many people are going to die? <laughs> There's always some DPS to, uh, to, you know, to pull early. I think that's what, I don't know. I know so, I saw somebody casting, but I thought they canceled it. But clearly the boss went for it after that. Ooh. And I think you got to watch out where the boulders are because if they're within the circle, it doesn't work. There's a cutscene I haven't seen in some time. Cause I don't, I don't know that I watched the cutscenes actually in, in the raid when I did it before. You know, when I was looking at it in the journal. I'll probably have to teleport in, you know, because everybody else will have already. Although, no, I mean, they're explaining fights, so they're probably assuming that there are new people watching cutscenes as well. I'll want this up just for when the ads spawn, but chances are because of that, it's going to become maybe a bit of a back and forth for the boss.
Yeah, it's... I get him for a second and try to re... reposition him. I don't even know how important it is to reposition him. I mean, if nothing else, though, it gives a little bit more equal time for everybody to get to their pads, where maybe this way it could be... I mean, it's certainly, like, B-Team has got the shortest run. Nice. As long as we can get the next one, if there is another one, then we'll be fine. just in time. I didn't have sprint up, so that was dicey. But we did the mechanic, so this is a clear... So I don't really, I don't really know what to to expect cutscene wise. Like I don't know if there's a cutscene that follows this or. I mean, certainly not. You know cutscene now, but while exiting. Yeah. Ho there, Lavenza. Very impressive, I must say. Your name shall be writ large in the volumes that are sure to be penned on this historic expedition. The scale of this structure defies comprehension. Someone plainly thought bigger was better. <laughs> According to the findings of my Baldessian colleagues, the Crystal Tower was, a con was constructed to collect and store the endless energies of the sun. A characteristically ambitious undertaking. Now, what of the tower's inner defenses? Judging by your haggard expression, clearing out the uh, labyrinth was no small feat. I mean, we wiped once. <laughs> a giant of a man wielding a shimmering scimitar, you say? Yes, that will have been Phlegathon. Not Acheron. Phlegathon. He was a hero of the Allegan Revolution. Didn't they rename Phlegathon at some point? And maybe that's a, you know, him noting not Acheron, Acheron or whatever. And you glean that from what exactly? His choice of weapon? Well, I am a historian, and I have a certain, shall we say, affinity for the lore of the Allegan Empire. It is, of course, all knowledge gleaned from musty scrolls and tomes. The ancient texts claim that the Crystal Tower is defended by the champions of Eld, resurrected and augmented through the Allegan's extraordinary technology. Chief, you need to see this.
Well, well, there it is, the foot of the tower. What surprises do you have in store for us, I wonder? I can't tell you how glad I, I am to have you with us on this little jaunt, old friend. Had you not beaten a path through that maze, I very much doubt we'd be standing here now. Well, we have much to discuss and digest. Let us retire to St. Coinax Fine for the present and there plan our next step. Lest there be any doubt, our expedition has some way to go yet. Yeah, I'm not entirely clear as to the um, entire structure of the Crystal Tower. Um, and, uh, you know, because, like, where is the Labyrinth of the Ancients in relation to the tower itself? Because clearly it still seems to be some distance away from it. I don't know if it's if it's like actually underneath it and just kind of goes out a ways or is it like a ring around it or is it just a structure like in front of it or something. I mean, maybe if you fly up or whatever you can see, I don't know. Okay. So good of you to join us, Lavenza. Our meeting would be dull indeed without a full account of your experiences in the labyrinth. Take a moment to collect yourself and when you are ready, we shall debate how best to proceed. For prosperity, Grahatia is ready to address the uh, assembled Fellowship of Noah. The Fellowship of Noah being accounted for, it is time this assembly was called to order. Rambo Rambrose will be presiding over the meeting. If you would be so kind as to inform him of your readiness to proceed. I mean, he can hear you. <laughs> Welcome back, Lavenza. I have just been reading about your encounter in the Labyrinth of the Ancients. It pleases me greatly to note that you seem none the worse for the uh, experience. For, uh, for your reference, I have added my own notes to Graha's preliminary expedition report and begun compiling a Crystal Tower survey log. The information contained therein will be available to you at all times. Should you have any questions, you need only ask. Oh, I wonder where that log is. Now, if there are no objections, I shall begin with a summary of the expedition's key accomplishments. Well, that was short. Ah, it goes into a cutscene. Okay. In the course of this, our first foray into the grounds of the Crystal Tower... We succeeded in neutralizing the structure's outer defenses before proceeding to secure the maze surrounding the base of the spire. Okay, so it surrounds it. According to Lavenza's account, the labyrinth's defenses were most uh, emphatically active. Uh, disturbingly, her report also mentions a violent encounter with a sentry heavily augmented by Allegan technology. In short, our misgivings were well-founded. The Crystal Tower was not simply thrust above ground by the chaos, or by the chaotic shifting of Earth. It has somehow been reawoken. If, as seems increasingly likely, the Tower's secrets should prove too dangerous to share with the world, we will have no choice but to contain them. Short of leveling the place, this will almost certainly involve returning its mechanisms to a state of dormancy. To do that, however, we will first need to address the question of how they work. 
the answer to which must sure must surely be waiting for us inside the tower itself. In conclusion, that is where we must go. A task rather easier said than done, if the perils of the labyrinth are any indication. Then I move that all further exploration of the tower be delayed until such time as an exhaustive analysis of the structure's defenses has been completed. Master Garland, may I entrust this task to you? Uh, it would be my pleasure. Don't forget about us. It's like you said, Chief. We founded the Ironworks to make sure that technology was used for the right reasons, and that means making sure it's not used for the wrong ones. We wouldn't be doing our job if we didn't see this through to the end. Lads, well, I hope you're ready for some backbreaking chores. Well, everything seems to be in hand here, so I shall take my leave of you for the present. If I am to witness this valiant tale unfold with my own eyes, I must needs hone my martial skills ere we ascend the spire. You'll do nothing of the sort, Graha. Your knowledge may prove useful to Master Garland's investigation. <laughs> God. That emote or whatever as an observer i am yeah as an observer i am not strictly speaking subject to your authority pray do not mistake my intent lavenza i am well aware that i shall never be a match for one with your innate talents however hard i train be that as it may pray do not allow your skills to rust from disuse during the coming pause and it's not going to be much of a pause we will need, your, uh, need you fighting fit in our subsequent forays, uh, if our subsequent forays are to prove as productive as this one. Mark me, we have not yet caught more than the briefest glimpse of that which time has obscured. Soon, however, we shall cast off the veil and gaze upon the glory of the Allegan Empire. And with that encouraging thought in mind, it is time to bring this assembly to a close. Let us all focus on the tasks at hand, that our next uh, expedition may begin all the sooner. Meeting adjourned. Yeah, I kind of feel bad, you know, Rambrose telling Graha, like, no, you're not going in. You know, just obviously with what happens in Shadowbringers and just how he talks toward the end of it going up the Crystal Tower and like, oh my god, I finally get to, you know, run through this place with you. And here's Nero with his shite-eating grin. Such a terrible mess. Yet it does leave the door wide open, so to speak. One cannot help but be impressed. I'm beginning to understand the reliance you place on adventurers, old friend. So this is the legacy the Allegan Empire left behind. If my readings are correct, the energy source waiting atop the tower is a match for even the Ultima weapon. Nay, more than a match. <laughs> a new toy for me to play with. Ooh, big reveal. <laughs> I believe the fates had conspired to deny me my just rewards once again, but it would seem they had a greater destiny in mind for me. And so long as my ambition burns, I shall strive to seize it. The dream lives on, Sid. Do not disappoint me. It's interesting seeing this, you know, like, I wonder if, like, I mean, was basically trying to break into the tower to secure it really the right step you know or could they have just left it and nobody would have been able to get inside anyway but then if that were the case then the events of shadow bringers would have never unfolded so food for thought thank you for watching this crystal tower series has been 
a lot better than I was expecting, to be honest. I I had watched the cutscenes again uh, right before Shadowbringers had come out. I mean, I think literally the day before it launched, I, I rewatched the cutscenes, you know, to get reacquainted. And um, and so I I kind of thought I I knew what to expect. Um, and so I just, I wasn't really looking forward to it as much as the other content I've done. Um, but now having gone through the whole thing again, after having completed Shadowbringers, it so much better than I expected. And, um, it was just great. It was just a lot weightier than, than, yeah, I was expecting. Um, I just, I really enjoyed it and I hope you did too. Um, if so, please like comment and subscribe. And if you want to watch me live to complete, you know, or to continue this journey, um, I'll be moving on to the end of a realm reborn and then obviously onto heaven's word. Um, and if you want to see that, please, uh, follow the link I've got down below to my Twitch. Thank you again for watching and you have a great one.